Hello. We're going to present about heme synthesis. The major side of heme synthesis is you guessed it, the bone marrow. And let's not forget the liver. Now, we will discuss about the steps of heme synthesis. Step 1. Succinyl-CoA and glycine will together form delta amino levulinate with the help of delta ALA synthase. Step 2. Two molecules of delta ALA will form PBG, which is porphobilinogen with the help of delta ALA dehydratase. Step 3. Four molecules of PBG will bind together to form hydroxymethylbilane with the help of uroporphyrinogen 1 synthase. At the same time, it will release four molecules of ammonia. Step 4. Hydroxymethylbilane will convert into uroporphyrinogen 3 with the help of uroporphyrinogen 3 cosynthase. Step 5. Uroporphyrinogen 3 will convert into copropyrinogen 3 with the help of uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase. At the same time, it releases four carbon dioxide molecules. Step 6. Copropyrinogen 3 will then convert into proporphyrinogen 3 with the help of copropyrinogen 3 oxidase. Step 7. Protoporphyrinogen 3 will convert into protoporphyrin with the help of protoporphyrinogen 3 oxidase. And finally, protoporphyrin and iron will together form heme with the help of ferrochelatase. There's a lot of names you have to know, right? Well, don't worry. We'll make it easy for you. Ala placed in high urine cup produce poisonous heme. Yep, it does sound weird and funny, but hey, it's one way to memorize it. Anyway, thank you for watching.